Hi everyone, what's up? It's M, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I will be walking you through a free note app that is available in Mac OS and Android OS, and this is Killer Notes. I already did two videos on this. One is with my iPad, and the other one is with an Android phone. And today, I will be showing you Kilo Notes with a Mac OS. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. Kilo Notes is a free note-taking app, but with in-app purchases of your choice, such as permanent membership of $5.99, a monthly subscription of $0.99, an annual subscription of $3.99, and others. This Note app is compatible with Android, iPad OS 12 or later, Mac OS 11 or later, and a Mac with Apple M1 chip or later. It also has a pocket version for your phones. What I'm going to use for this video is the MacBook Air M2 chip, and for the pen tablet, I will be trying the H420X from Huion. First is to set up the pen tablet according to your preference. You can download the Kilo Notes from the App Store or Play Store in Android. Other note-taking apps are also compatible with this MacBook Air like the Color Note, Noteful, and Nebo. Please stay tuned because I might do videos on these note apps hopefully soon and anyway, let's head on to the app itself. The main screen of Kilo Note is just similar with that of the iPad version. The UI design is very neat and simple. You can see here the welcome note that is written in Chinese. The updated version now has a separate tab for the cards, which I'll show you in a bit. The store icon on the top right corner is where your in-app purchases are, so you can avail them anytime. Then we have the import button for your PDF documents, digital planners, and other files you want to import. Then we have the settings icon, same as before, there's a backup option, recycle bin, the options for single finger panning, and image performance optimization. There's no sorting option, but it automatically arranges your notes alphabetically. The big plus sign here lets you create a notebook, however, there seems to be no quick note option here. But anyway, I love that there are a lot of designs for the notebook cover unlike before, Plus, you can upload your own custom designs from your gallery. For the paper styles, there are enough to choose from and also some free templates down here. Finally, they added a paper orientation in the options. You can also choose a few paper colors just above the paper styles. Then of course, don't forget the title of your note in here and click create. Now, this is your workspace, which has a few updates. Let's start with the audio recording. So after you write while recording and try to replay it, it doesn't actually sync unlike the good notes in Notability where the recording syncs well with the words you write. However, what it can do is, you can add the recordings anywhere on your page so you'll know on what topic that recording is for. In Kilo Notes, there are free stickers that you can download and purchase, and also materials such as this paper which you can fold, but I'm not quite so sure how this works. However, you can edit this and crop into shapes of your liking. The rotate and resize option don't seem to work well in the macOS version at the moment, and I hope they will update on this soon. Anyway, moving on, the three dots icon on the very top right corner is for your pages options. Here you can replace the paper style of your current and last page. You can also add a page before and after your current page, change the color, paper orientation, and templates. Now onto the main toolbar. There are now three types of pen in the pen tool. And there's also the options for straight line and auto shapes. 
Then on this side are the more options for each tools. For the pen tool, there are five slots for the colors of your choice, which are customizable. You can pick and choose other colors from the palette or type in the color code or use the eyedropper tool to pick up colors within your page. So now let's test them out. We have the gel pen, the fountain pen where the pressure sensitivity isn't that great or maybe it's the pen tablet I use. Anyway, last is the pen or the ordinary ballpoint, I guess. And the thickness of the strokes are from 0.1 to 4 millimeters, and there are three slots for the thickness of your choice. Now, when drawing shapes, the holding time is almost two seconds before it turns into a perfect shape, which is quite longer compared to other note apps. For each shapes you made, you can add a fill color and adjust some points like this one. It doesn't recognize some shapes like the heart, but it recognizes most of the regular shapes. For the highlighter tool, there is only one type which is the round tip. There's the straight line option which is a must and the other options which are very similar with the pen tool. We have the 5 slots for the colors and 3 slots for the thickness which is from 0.1 to 7.7 millimeters. I like that the highlighter is behind the text so the words remain more readable. For the eraser tool, there's an option to erase the brush only, the highlighter, or graffiti pen only. You also have an option to erase the entire stroke or erase partially or little by little. For the lasso tool, you can choose from these options what you want to select, either allow selection of all these or any combination you like. Then here are more of the options for the lasso tool. You can take a screenshot, edit shapes, adjust size, change the color, cut, copy, or delete your selection, and translate a certain word. In the media tool, you can only add photos and not videos. When adding photos, you can tap anywhere on the screen, take pictures from the camera, or drag from your folders. Same editing tool with the stickers, you can crop, cut, or crop into shapes. Again, I can't adjust the size or rotate the images using the media tool, but I can do that using the lasso tool instead. Now for the text tool, you can customize the color, adjust the size, change the font style, and paragraph style. However, for some reason, I can't select the words continuously. Whenever I try to highlight or select some words, it only allows me to select one word. As you can see in the video, I'm trying to figure out how I can select the second sentence only, but I ended up selecting all instead. Like what I've written here, Kilonotes is not that responsive in Mac OS, at least on some tools like the text tool and the media tool. The next tool is a doodling pen, which is only available when you purchase the membership. Moving on, we have the card tool. This is basically your tag. Simply select a word or paragraph or even images to tag it important. Just click on the card icon to view all the cards you made, and you can also search the card title here. The square is color yellow and it has other different colors like the pink and blue, but in Mac OS, it only has the yellow one. 
Going back to the main screen of Killer Notes, I'm trying to delete one notebook to show you how to restore that in the trash bin, but for some reason it won't delete and I don't know why. Anyway, let's try importing a PDF document. So I got this PDF document from the internet for demo purpose only. So you can annotate here and good thing that the highlighter is behind the text as well and you can add cards too. You can basically use all the toolbar on the PDF documents and the pages icon lets you see all the pages of your notebook or documents. Next one I'm going to show you is supposed to be a digital planner with hyperlinks, but the updated version of Killer Notes only allows up to three notes for the free version. This is kind of sad because the older version can make almost over 50 notebooks or more than that, but if you're willing to spend though, you can unlock the permanent membership which is a single purchase of $299. This will unlock the limit on the number of notes and features. Take note that the permanent membership is different from the monthly or annual subscription. Going back to the workspace, the pointing hand from the toolbar allows you to click on the hyperlinks of your PDF documents or your digital planner. These are some of the free templates that you can use for your journals or diaries. The new feature of Gila Notes is the separate tab for all your cards. Again, you can create your own tags or label for each card. You can also search the title of your cards. Before I forget, the notebooks can be grouped by folder. You just have to drag one notebook over the other. Lastly, you can export or share your notebook to mail, to other device, and drive if you have. There's also an option for your scrolling direction either horizontally or vertically. So overall, Killer Notes is a great app since it's free plus the toolbar are great as well. It's also compatible with both Android and Apple devices. There are a lot to love about this Note app, however, I would not recommend the macOS version because some tools are not working here. But if you have an iPad or a tablet, I would recommend you try this Note app because it's best compatible with these devices. The writing experience is flawless and most of the tools function well. There are just some cons that I hope Killer Notes would add like the handwriting conversion to text, the search icon, and the auto sync option. But other than that, this Note app is worth a try. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful and if you like this video, please give a thumbs up, comment, share, and please do subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video.